And welcome back. It's the Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Basketball Tournament on your radio 95.9 FM, Froggy 96, 104.9 FM, Kicking Country 105 across the World Wide Web. You can watch live streaming audio and video at kdkz18.com or at froggy96online.com. I'm Aaron Cox, and this is our third and final broadcast game of the evening. It's the Arcadia, excuse me, it's the Park Hill Central Rebels, and it is also the Ellington Whippets. In the final nightcap, it's round number one. And for the Park Hill Central Rebels, they're going to start off with number 22, John Comfort, along with number 15, Hunter Curtoys, number 23, Braden Manion, Number 11, Will Sheriffus, and number 32, Drew Skaggs. Ellington's going to start things off tonight with number 32, Carl Potts. Number 22, Dylan Pogue. 34, Corey Harper. 21, Wyatt George. And number 5, Hunter Hathcote. Put eight minutes up on the clock. We're ready to begin the first quarter. Game number three, night number one, is the first round of the 86th Annual Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Tournament. Set to tip off between number 34, that is the Ellington Whippets, number 34, by the way, Corey Harper. And number 32, that'll be Drew Skaggs. Skaggs wins the tip-off in an easy two-point layup for number 23. That'll be Braden Manion. Kicking things off here well as the Ellington Whippets will now try to control the ball, but they're going to turn it over to Park Hills right away. Down the line is number 23. That'll be Manion. He'll put it up for... John Comfort to lay in two. Four to nothing already. Park Hill Central leading the Ellington Whippets. Aaron Cox on your radio. Glad you have us alongside. Comfort again. Off the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Ellington's number 34. That'll be Corey Harper. Harper passes off to Hunter Hathcote. Hathcote back up to the top of the key to number 21, Wyatt George. Wyatt George having some pressure. Ellington Whippets, Park Hill Central Rebels. He's going to drive the baseline and then try to get down, and it's going to go off the hands of number 21. That'll be Wyatt George for the Ellington Whippets. Inbounding for Park Hill Central will be number 15, Hunter Kurtoys. Kurtoys will pass things off to number 11. That'll be Will Sheriffus. Sheriffus over to the right side to Mannion. Mannion far side to Comfort and up for a three-pointer, no good. Driving the lane, number 21 for the Ellington Whippets is number 21, Wyatt George. Four to two, your score. Park Hill Central on top. Tipped away, Ellington with the rebound. Number 22, Pogue down with the ball. Going to play around with the top of the key. Fire off to number 21 on the left side. That'll be Wyatt George. George over here on the left side. Dribbling around, back top of the key, back left side. Tries to find the lane, going to drive down and then hand it off to number 32. Underneath the goal, Carl Potts. Going to be a foul on the ground, 6.15 to play in the first quarter. 4-2, to two, Park Hill Central on top of the Ellington Whippets. Final game of a three-game broadcast tonight. Foul's going to come on Park Hills. their number 15. That'll be Hunter Kurtoys. That'll be his first team foul, number one. At the line for the Whippets, number 32, Carl Potts. Shot off the right side of the rim, backboard, no good. Second shot for number 32. That'll be Carl Potts. Waiting for it, waiting for the rebound. Off the rim, no good. Those could come back to haunt you. Rebound Park Hill Central across the timeline is number 32. That'll be Drew Skaggs. Skaggs over to the far side, rebound. Picked up by Park Hills. Down below, pass to Kurtoys. Tried to give it back to Comfort. John Comfort's going to go to the line to shoot. He's going to get a foul on the ground. Foul's going to come on the Ellington Whippets, number 22. That'll be Dylan Pogue. His first foul, team foul number one for the Whippets. Shot for number 32, Drew Skaggs, is up and good. Extends the lead, 5-2, 6 one to play in the first quarter. Second shot from Drew Skaggs as everybody awaits the rebound. Rims off, rebound, Ellington Whippets. Number 34, that is Corey Harper. Passes off to number 22, Dylan Pogue. Over to the side, number five, Hunter Hathcote. Hathcote will dribble right side. Off the top of the key, stolen away by number 11. That'll be Will Sheriffus. Sheriffus will try to put it into the goal, and then it'll be off the hands of number 23, Braden Mannion. Timeout Whippets with 5.42 to play. Park Hills with a 5-2 lead. We'll be back on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. <laughs> 
Donnie Price Sawmill of Piedmont wants to remind everyone how important it is to get out and vote during the 2012 primary election. Freedom isn't free, and the key to keeping our American freedom is to vote. The fine folks at Donnie Price Sawmill have what it takes to meet your needs. Give them a call today at 573-945-2261. That's 945-2261. And make sure to tune in to live election coverage Tuesday night, August 7th, right here on Kicking Country 105. Donnie Price Sawmill, always concerned with the community. Back in Arcadia Valley, Missouri, a timeout from the Ellington Whippets. 5-2, Park Hill Central with the lead. 5.42 to play in the first quarter. Thanks for joining us here for the 86th Annual Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Tournament. Number five for the Ellington Whippets. Hunter Hathcote going to inbound. He's going to find number 22, Dylan Pogue. Pogue back to Hathcote. Hathcote dribbles with heavy pressure from Skaggs. Hathcote back over. Down the center, stolen away by the Park Hill Central Rebels, number 23. That is Braden Mannion. He'll put it up for 2-7-2 two, two as your score. Park Hill's on top. Back to Hathcote. Long pass down to 22, Pogue. Pogue dribbles baseline at the free throw. Puts it up for 2-7-4 your score with 5-12 to play. Down the line is the Park Hill Central Rebels. Over here on the left side is number 22, that is John Comfort. Down below is Skaggs. He tried to put it up. Rebound, Ellington Whippets. Number 21, Wyatt George going to pass it back to number 5, Hathcote. Hathcote to George. George down below to number 22, Pogue. Pogue will find number 34, Harper on the outside. He'll put it up for a two-point shot. 9-6 is the three-point ball game. Park Hill still with the lead. Number 22 over here on the sideline again is John Comfort. Comfort tries to find the backboard. He's not going to find it. Rebound, Ellington Whippets. Park Hills thought they had it, but they're not going to. Pogue will dribble across the timeline. 4.23 to play. Long three-point shot off the rim. No good. Rebound, Park Hill Central. Drew Skaggs will dribble baseline and then try to find the lane. He's going to get a foul in the lane and on the ground as he went up to shot. That's definitely going to come on number five. That'll be Hunter Hathcote. At the line, shooting is number 32, Drew Skaggs. 11-6, Park Hills leading the Ellington Whippets. Hunter Hathcote will pick up his first Ellington second team foul. Drew Skaggs to the line to shoot one. Waiting to see if it's a good one. It's off the rim, and it is good. Substitutions into the game all around for Park Hills. 4-11 to play in the first. It's a six-point game. Park Hills leading 12-6. Ellington to inbound the ball into their own goal. Under the goal, number 21, Wyatt George going to pass long pass. Number 22, Dylan Pogue will dribble left side. Stops at the key. Fires inside. Now at the top near the free throw line is number 34, Corey Harper. Harper tries to get the rebound. Can't figure it out. Back at the key is Dylan Pogue. Passes underneath. Not going to find anybody. Corey Harper with the rebound. Park Hill Central now has the ball. Number 20 is Jones. Jones passes to number 34. That'll be Calvert. Ryan Calvert put it up for two. 15 6 your score. Now a long three-pointer, but it's tipped away. Dylan Pogue tried it for the Ellington Whippins. Rebound Park Hill Central, and Jones tries to drive the base in through the lane, and then he's going to be fouled. That'll be Hathcote's second team foul number three on the Ellington Whippets. Three twenty-one to play in the first quarter. Park Hills with a 17-6 lead. It was a two-point ball game just moments ago. At the line shooting for the Park Hills Central Rebels is number 20. That is Jones. Alric Jones at the line to shoot for the Park Hills Central Rebels. Foul came on the Ellington Whippets. Hunter Hathcote, it was his second team foul, number three. Shot by Jones is good. Rebound Ellington Whippets. Number 21 is Wyatt George. George, long pass. Number 22 is Pogue. Pogue tried for a shot. He was in the two-point range, 18 to eight. It's a 10-point ball game. Park Hill's on top. Jones, long pass down. And then Calvert on the left side. Rims it, no good. Rebound Park Hill Central under the goal. Number 30, trying to find it is Lucas. Not going to get anything. Lucas tried for something. 
Rebound Park Hill Central again. Calvert going to be fouled. Corey Harper going to get a foul. Head of the line is Ryan Calvert for the Park Hill Central Rebels. First foul for number 34, Corey Harper, and the Park Hill Central Rebels have a 19-8 lead after the shot from Calvert is good. Awaiting the second shot, 2.52 to play in the first quarter. Second shot is up and good from Calvert. Extends the lead to 28, Park Hill Central. Ellington Whippets with the rebound. Long pass play all the way down. Ellington Whippets are inside the key. Didn't take the shot. Here's a long one from number 22. That was Dylan Pogue. He's got the three-pointer. Dylan Pogue with a long three-pointer at 20 to 11. Now near side is Lucas, top of the key, Calvert. Calvert dribbles the lane, tries to find Lucas on the outside, but he's going to travel. you got to dribble that ball. You can't move it down the court like that. Inbounding the ball, number 34, Corey Harper. He's going to find number 22. That'll be Dylan Pogue for the Ellington Whippets. Ellington and tries to get it down below. He does. Billy Parkhill for Ellington with a two-point bucket. Jones down to Calvert. Inside, number five. That'll be Caldwell. Caldwell tried to baseline. Wasn't going to find it. He passed it off to Blake Nephew, who was underneath the goal and tried to tip it up, but he's going to get a foul. Corey Harper for the Ellington Whippets is going to pick up his second team foul, number five, at the line, number 50. That'll be Blake Nephew. His first one is up and good. 21 to 13, your score. 2-13 to play in the first quarter. Now Nephew will stay at the line to shoot again. Just got done with football season. Second shot from Blake Nephew up and good. 22-13, Park Hills with the lead. Ellington's foul on the ground. A little bit of hand motion behind. Ellington's going to inbound the ball. With 2-11 to play in the first, 22-13 to 13 the score. Billy Parkhill with the ball. Back to number 22, that'll be Dylan Pogue. Saying it was out of, the, out of bounds on Pogue for the Ellington Whippets. Inbounding, it's going to be Braden Mannion. Mannion going to find a man open. Nobody looking, though. There's Sheriff is finally looking around. And he's going to find nobody down below. A lot of pressure from Park Hills on the Ellington Whippets. Down the sideline is number 21. That'll be Wyatt George. Wyatt George is going to pass down near the key. Up for the two-point. Billy Park Hill off the rebound is Park Hill Central. And number 11, Will Sheriffis, tried to lay it up for two. He's not going to get it. 22-13 your score with a minute 43 to play in the first. Inbounding for Park Hills, number 23. That'll be Braden Mannion. Mannion tries to find somebody. Sheriff has thought he had it. Number 21 is going to break away for Ellington. That'll be Wyatt George. He's going to be fouled as he went up for it. He's going to go to the line to shoot. At the line, number 21, Wyatt George. He is a sophomore for the Ellington Whippets. A minute 37 to play in the first quarter. 22-15 right now. He got the two points, and now he gets to capitalize at the free throw line. They call them free throws for a reason. Nobody's around you. It's a free throw, and it's shot, and it's good. Wyatt George will pick up a free throw shot. 22-16. It's a five-point game. Six-point game. Do some math here in your head. Minute 35 and counting in the first quarter. Dribbling down for Park Hill Central, number 20. That'll be Alec Jones. Jones will pass inside the baseline to 32. That'll be Skaggs. No good. Rebound, Ellington. Pogue down the right side. Going to be tipped out of bounds on Park Hills. Ellington will inbound in front of their own bench. A minute 20 to play in the first quarter, 24-16. An eight-point game for the Park Hills Central Rebels. They had a lead, but Ellington's doing everything they can to keep up. Tried to inbound the ball. It was going to be tipped away by Skaggs, and then back inbounded. He saved it, and then he gets his own rebound. Can't quite get it in. Back and forth, Park Hills, how many times is it going to take to get that one in? Finally, 
Park Hills extends the lead, and then they get the rebound again. Number 23, Braden Mannion. 28-16, just under a minute to play in the first quarter. On the left side, on the baseline, driving. Ellington Whippets trying to put some more on the board. It's a ball fight down at the end of the court. Park Hills will come up with it. Now they'll throw it away to Ellington. Ellington will take over the ball. Poe with a long three-point shot. Rims around, no good. Rebound Ellington. He doesn't know that somebody rebounded it. He's down here already. Another shot for Ellington. It was left way short. Number 10 is going to try for it. Park Hill. And now they continue a battle with 21 seconds to play here in the first quarter. 28-16. Pogue on the left side. Heavy pressure. Up top, number 34 is Harper. Corey Harper will pass to the right side. Number 21 is George. Wyatt George and then a breakaway as number 23, Mannion, will steal it away for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Jones in the lane. Fakes it to Skaggs, who wasn't ready. He'll turn around, try it at the buzzer. No good. One quarter down, 28-16 is your score. Park Hill Central leads the Ellington Whippets. We're back to begin the second quarter coming up on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Hi, Todd. Oh, hey, Samantha. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Oh, sure. Wow, I'd love to. Great. Now give me your Subway steak melt. Mm, my melt? Yeah, I'm your girlfriend now. I, I, I don't think this is working out. Get your own Subway steak melt, like the tender, juicy steak and bacon melt, or the succulent, smoky chipotle steak and cheese. Get yours today. Subway. Eat fresh. Forche Auto Repair wants to take this time to wish good luck to the South Iron Baseball Team in your sports endeavors this spring. Everyone at Forche Auto Repair knows it takes a lot of hard work and determination on and off the field to make great athletes, and you've done that, South Iron. Good luck, everyone, from Forche Auto Repair in Annapolis. <laughs> And we're back. It's the 86th Annual Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Basketball Tournament on your radio, 95.9 FM, 104.9 FM. Across the World Wide Web, you can find live streaming audio and video of the entire tournament at KDKZ18.com and Froggy96online.com. Driven by Benning Ford. Check them out on the World Wide Web, BenningFord.com. Eight minutes to put it up on the clock. Second period about to begin. Park Hill Central with a 28-16 lead. Who's going to inbound the ball? That's what the referee wants to know. Ellington Whippets will throw in the ball. Dylan Pogue at the half-point line. Passes it off to number 21. That'll be George. Wyatt George will be fouled as the ball came in. 7.56 to play in the second quarter. Just underway. 28-16 your score. This is the final broadcast game of the evening. Night number one, round number one. There's one more first-round game tomorrow. It'll be the first game to kick things off. Inbound pass comes to George. Passes Pogue. Pogue three-point shot for the Ellington Whippets. It's good. 28 to 19. Your score, Dylan Pogue with a three-pointer from the right side. Jones will pass to the far side. Looking for somebody on a three-point shot from number 22. That'll be John Comfort. Got the rebound. He was no good. Ellington now with the rebound. And Wyatt George with the ball. Hands it off to Pogue. He tried it for a three-pointer off the top of the backboard and then rebound by number 34, Corey Harper, for the two points. 28-21 your score. Whistle, timeout. Mike Carlo of the Park Hill Central Rebels. And his first year, 7-19 to play before halftime. 28-21, it's a seven-point game. Park Hill Central with the lead. We're back in 60 on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Nothing goes better with spring baseball than a premium beef hot dog from Sonic right here in Piedmont. Right now, you can have your choice of an All-American, a chili cheese, a Chicago-style, or a New York-style hot dog, all for just $1.99 each. And it's ready now at your Sonic right here in Piedmont. Samantha? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Oh, sure. Wow, I'd love to. Great. Now give me your Subway steak melt. Mm, my melt? Yeah. I'm your girlfriend now. I, I, I don't think this is working out. 
Get your own Subway Steak Melt, like the tender, juicy steak and bacon melt, or the succulent, smoky Chipotle steak and cheese. Get yours today. Subway. Eat fresh. Back, Park Hill Central's John Comfort inbounded the ball. Now far side Jones down at the baseline, number 50. That is Nephew. Nephew tried to turn around and jump it in, but he's not going to get it. Ellington whip it to the rebound. Coming down, seven minutes to play in the second. Foul on the ground at the half-court point. Foul's going to come in on Park Hills' is number 23. That'll be Braden Mannion. His first team foul, number five for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Inbounding in front of the scores table for the Ellington Whippets. Number 32. That'll be Carl Potts. A little bit of moisture on the ground. Going to take care of that. 6.59 to play here in the second quarter. On your radio, 95.9 FM, 104.9 FM. Watching on the World Wide Web. It's free. Find it anytime. KDKZ18.com or Froggy96online.com. Carl Potts for the Ellington Whippets now will inbound the ball after they got the moisture off the court floor. He'll try to find somebody. He finds Pogue. Pogue with some heavy pressure from Comfort. Now Pogue gets the ball slapped away. He'll pick it back up. Carl Potts will pass it back off to Pogue. Pogue on the right side. Knocked out of bounds. Park Hill Central. He tried to toss it up in the air. They're going to catch him there at the right baseline. 6.48 to play in the second quarter. Park Hills with a 28-21 lead over the Ellington Whippets. It's a seven-point game, but it's been a good one at that. A hard-fought battle on both sides of the court. One that just kind of ran away for Park Hill Central to start things off. Inbounding the ball is the Ellington Whippets. A long pass play to the half-court mark. See who comes up with it. Nobody seems to have it. It's loose on the ground. Everybody's diving for it. And wait for the timeout. Ellington Whippets. Got the timeout just in time. 6.41 to play. 28-21 your score. We're back in 30 on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Lesterville R4 School District is very proud of their outstanding athletes and they wish all their teams the best of luck in their sports endeavors. Your hard work and dedication to your team shows that you have determination to be the best. Good luck Bearcats and Lady Bearcats in your sports endeavors from everyone at the Lesterville R4 School District. Back in Arcadia Valley, the Park Hill Central Rebels, the Ellington Whippets battling it out on the floor, but the Ellington Whippets got the timeout first, 6.41 to play in the second quarter, 28-21, it's a seven-point lead for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Inbounding in front of the Ellington Whippet bench will be number 22, that'll be Dylan Pogue. Pogue will be uh, guarded by Braden Mannion. Pogue looking for somebody to pass into. Who's going to find? He's going to find Wyatt George. George is going to run away with it. He's got Jones on his tail. Jones is going to turn over, and he's going to step out of bounds. A hard-fought battle from Jones and Jones and George going at it there on the far side of the court. But unfortunately, after Jones took the ball away from him, he stepped out of bounds. So Ellington's Carl Potts will inbound the ball on the far side of the court. 6.34 to play before halftime. Potts will look for an open man. He'll pass play, but we have a not sure what they're going to call. See who they get on that one. It was an on-the-floor, so inbounding the ball will be Park Hill Central. The push came in from Ellington, 6.34 to play before halftime. Still a seven-point game. Inbounding is number 20, Jones. Off to Comfort, inside to Skaggs. Skaggs looking for somebody down low, and Skaggs is going to get the ball again. He's going to lob it in with his right hand. For two points. 6.19 to play in the second quarter. On your radio, 95.9 FM and 104.9 FM. Across the World Wide Web, watch this game now. Wyatt George passes down low, fakes it as number 34, Corey Harper. Harper puts it up for two. 30 to 23 is your score. Six minutes to play before halftime. John Comfort will drive along the baseline, look for the left side of the goal, and he's not going to get anything but a foul. He will draw the foul, foul, and he'll head to the line. Number 22, John Comfort, is a 5'11 senior. Foul going to be called on number 10 for the Ellington Whippets. That is Billy Parkhill. That'll be his second team foul, number 7 for the Ellington Whippets. First free throw for Comfort is no good. 30-23, to 23, still your score. John Comfort at the free throw line for his second shot. Off the rim, no good again. Who got the rebound? Park Hill Central and Drew Skaggs. Looked like he stepped out of bounds, but Jones is going to put it up for three. Off the rim, no good. Park Hill Central again with the rebound. Mannion passes it off over here to Comfort. 
No good again. Park Hills again with the rebound. Skaggs turns around and finally sinks it for two. 5.40 to play before halftime, 32-23. And then tipped away out of bounds into the stands. John Comfort nearly got him a new set of bleachers and a couple of fans with him. Inbounding the ball is the Ellington Whippets. Across the line is Wyatt George. George will fake, go down low to Hayden or Harper. No good. Rebound Park Hill Central down under the goal. Ellington's going to recover the ball. Number 22, Dylan Pogue with the ball. Skaggs on the floor. He's falling. Down under the goal. Jones thinks he's got it. Foul comes in. 5-13 to play before halftime. 32-23 your score. Park Hill Central still with the lead. Push from behind. See who they're going to get on it. Headed the line to shoot a one and one is number 20. That'll be Alec Jones. Foul's going to come in on number 10. That'll be Billy Park Hill. It's his third team foul, number eight for the Ellington Whippets. 5-13 to play before halftime. 32-23, Park Hill's with the lead. Jones in his first shot, up off the front, no good. Rebound was supposed to come down. It was a fought battle between Park Hills and Ellington, out of bounds on, on Ellington. Inbounding the ball under the goal, number 23. That'll be Braden Mannion. Mannion looking to inbound the ball. Going to find number 50, Nephew. Back out to Mannion, then top is Sheriffus. Off to the other side to number 30. That'll be Lucas. Lucas tried to put it up. Then number 15, that'll be Kurtoys tried to put it up for the two. Draw the foul is number 15, Hunter Kurtoys. He's going to go to the line to shoot a one and one 5-0-2 to play before the half. 32-23, still your score, Park Hills. Foul's going to come in on number 34, Corey Harper. That is his third team foul, number nine. First shot from Kurtoys is up and nothing but net. 33-23 to play. Hunter Kurtoys at the line to shoot another one for his one and one. First one was good, 33-23 your score. Second one from Kurtoys is up and good as well. 5.02 to play before the end of this first half. Inbounding the ball is Ellington. Wyatt George off to the far side to number five. That'll be Hathcote. Hathcote back to George. George dribbles down, finds Harper. Harper nearly tipped away from Sheriffus. Dribbling the baseline with double coverage, and then he's going to step out of bounds. He tried to throw it off the Park Hill Central Rebels. I think they're going to get him, though. Harper was double teamed on the baseline, thought he could throw it off the feet of the Park Hill Central Rebels, and they're going to let it happen. Inbounding the ball, number 32, Carl Potts. He's going to hand it off to George. George is heavy on the uh, pressure from Sheriffus. Down on the ground is a jump ball. George and Sheriffus were locked at a jump ball. 4.23 to play before halftime. 34.23 is your score, Park Hill Central. Inbounding the ball is number 34, Riley Calvert. Riley Calvert in front of the scores table, 4.39 to play before the end of the first half. Looking for a man open. He's going to pass all the way down to number 30. That'll be a Lucas. Lucas tried to pass inside, but he got blocked away. He'll cover it. Sheriffus over on the right side of the key. Back to the top. Looking for Calvert to roll down the right side, and he passes it off. Down under low to Kurtois. He'll put it up for two points. 36-23, Park Hills. 4.19 to play in the fourth. Re, or in the second, rebound comes down to Park Hill Central. Heavy on the rebounds tonight as Nephew will get it underneath the goal. And he's going to get charged with a charge. Four oh nine to play before halftime. 36-23, Park Hill Central with the lead. Inbounding the ball is number five for the Ellington Whippets, Hunter Hathcote. And then knocked back out of bounds by number 30 for the Park Hill Central Rebels. That'll be Reed Lucas. 
So they'll try it again. Hunter Hathcote will inbound the ball once again. He'll find Pogue back to Hathcote. Hathcote passes to Harper. Harper double teamed again. Wyatt George underneath the baseline. Number 32 is going to put it up for Ellington. That'll be Carl Potts. No good. Rebound Park Hills. Under the goal. Long pass play. Number 30, Reed Lucas up for the two points in the layup. Extending the lead 38 23. 3.43 to play before halftime. Hathcote passes off to Pogue. Pogue and them across the timeline. Top of the, cre top of the key driving the lane and then tipped away. And then a hard hit. Hunter Hathcote and number 30, Reed Lucas, fighting for the ball. And we'll see who ends up with the charge. 3.32 to play before halftime. Slow moving second quarter. A lot of fouls. 38-23, Park Hill Central leading the Ellington Whippets. Final game of our three-game broadcast, round number one. At the line, shooting for Ellington, number five. That'll be Hunter Hathcote. Foul comes in on Reed Lucas. It'll be his first team foul, number seven. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Ellington. Pogue, or actually, yeah, Pogue fights for it. And I think somebody's got a hurt nose down on the ground. That'll be Reed Lucas. He was grabbing it just for a minute. He's going to come back up slowly. Looks like he's not bleeding at all, but he took a hard hit to the nose. Back at the line to shoot number 22, Dylan Pogue, for the Ellington Whippets. Foul is going to come in on number 34. That'll be Riley Calvert. That'll be his first team foul, number eight. Shot is up, no good. Rebounded for Park Hills, but the referee said, wait a minute. He's shooting it again. I think he jumped the blocks. 3.28 to play. He'll get a second attempt at the free throw. Second shot up from Pogue is good. 38-24. Park Hill Central. Sheriffus down the key. Passes right side. Looking to pass inside is Skaggs. Skaggs with a ball off the backboard. Rebounded by Park Hill. Sheriffus with a three-pointer. Rims around no good. Back out rebound to Calvert. Calvert, same spot again to Sheriffus. Top of the key, left side now. Comes into Skaggs. Long pass across to Calvert. Calvert with a three-point shot. Up off the rim. Rebound. Skaggs again for Park Hills. He'll try it for a third time. Rebound Park Hills for a fourth time. And he's going to be fouled. Reed Lucas is going to head to the free throw line. He's going to get to shoot two. 2.58 to play before halftime. 38-24 Park Hills with the lead over the Ellington Whippets. Foul is going to come in on number 34, Corey Harper. That will be his fourth and team foul number 10. Reed Lucas at the line, and his shot is off the backboard. No good. End of the ball game for the Ellington Whippets, number 10, Billy Parkhill. Coming out, of course, is number 34, Corey Harper. He's in foul trouble at four. Reed Lucas will get a chance to try it again. First shot was off the back of the rim. No good. Second shot is off the same spot. No good. Drew Skaggs rebounds for two points, though. He'll make it up. 40 to 24 is your score, Park Hills. Rebound, Ellington. Baseline is Wyatt George. Passes it off to Carl Potts. Now George dribbles across the timeline. Long pass over to Pogue. Pogue left side, tries to get in the lane, tries to go up for two points. No good. Rebound Park Hills. Long pass play down to Sheriffus. Under the goal. Layup no good. Rebound is going to go out of bound on Ellington. They're going to say it went out of bounds in front of the Ellington Whippets sideline. In front of the bench, two minutes and 32 seconds to play before halftime. Right now, 40 to 24, Park Hills leads. Inbounding the ball is the Ellington Whippets, so I guess they did say it was out on Park Hills. Chain to the line. Pogue will dribble around with some pressure from Reed. Lucas is on Pogue. Pogue on the right side, looks down below. He's going to find Park Hill. Park Hill back out to Potts. Potts will get down deep to number five, Hathcote. Hathcote will put it in for two. Jones will now pass to Calvert. Calvert down low to Skaggs. No good for Skaggs. Rebound, Ellington. Pogue with some pressure now across the timeline. Try to be picked from behind. He's going to hit the lane, and he's going to get the two-point bucket. Minute 52 to play before halftime. 42-28 is your score, Park Hills. Now Calvert will pass to Skaggs. Skaggs in the lane will put it up for two easy. 44-28. Park Hills leading with a minute 40. Pogue across the timeline. Looking down the lane, he drives a little bit, all open. 
Rims around, bounces around, and sinks. 44-30 with a minute 30 to play before halftime. Park Hill still on top. Jones is along the right side. Calvert down low to Skaggs. Skaggs is underneath the goal. He passes back out to the middle of the lane. Number five is going to try to get it in for him. Caldwell can't make it happen. Carl Potts might have got the foul. It was either between Potts or Hathcoat. Going to say it was a on the floor charge against number five. That'll be Austin Caldwell. He'll step out of the game. Inbounding the ball is Mannion. Mannion to number 22 off for the three pointer. No good. Rebound comes down to Park Hills. Trying for it is number 15. That'll be Kurt Toys. He can't make it happen either. Out of bounds, Ellington. Park Hill Central will take over in front of the Ellington Whippets cheerleading squad. A minute 10 to play before halftime. 44 30. It's a 14 point ball game lead for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Inbounding, long pass play to Jones. Jones top of the key, right side. Now he's going to go to Mannion. Long pass, off the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Jones. He dribbles around, down below to Skaggs. Skaggs is going to try for two. He rims it around. Two points is good. 46 to 30, under a minute to play before halftime. Poe going to get uh, caught from behind, number 23. That'll be Braden Mannion with a foul. Tried to come up behind Dylan Pogue, and it wasn't going to happen for him. 53 seconds to play before halftime, 46-30. 16-point lead for the Park Hill Central Rebels as they get near the uh, half point of this ballgame. Headed for the line for the Ellington Whippets is number 22, Dylan Pogue. He'll shoot two. Foul's going to come in on number 23. Like I said, Braden Mannion, that'll be his second team foul. Many. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound comes down to Park Hill Central. Long pass to Mannion. Down in the middle of the lane to Skaggs, but it was stripped away. He gets the foul drawn on him, though. He'll head to the line for some free throws. Let's see if he can do a little bit better than the last time. Drew Skaggs, number 32, is going to head to the free throw line to shoot. They've got a 46-30 lead. Park Hill Central over the Ellington Whippets. 48 seconds flat to play before halftime. Same spot again. Drew Skaggs having a hard time off the back of that rim. First shot was up and no good. Drew Skaggs will try for a second time. See if he leaves it short. This time he finds the front of the rim and it sinks for him. Rebound Ellington. Hathcote with the ball. Dribbles near side. Down to Pogue on the right side. Back up to George. George down to Potts. Potts on the left side. Looking for somebody. Heavy pressure by Kurtois. Kurtois for Park Hill is going to steal it away. Long pass down to Drew Skaggs. He runs the lane. Flips and turns, and then in for the two points. Drew Skaggs, number 32, doing an excellent job tonight, extending the Park Hills lead 49-30. to 30. Well, now let's see what Carl Potts and his Ellington Whippets can do in trying to control this ball, but they're not going to do it as they get it stolen away by Jones. Jones with an easy two-point layup, extending the lead 51-30. to 30. Three seconds left on the clock. They better throw it up if they want a chance. Not going to get it off, though. They head to the locker room. Our final broadcast game of the night, round number one, Park Hill Central with a 51-30 lead over the Ellington Whippets. We'll be back on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Did you know that the average roof is replaced in just a few years? That costs a lot of money. Hi, this is Lee Roach with Roach Metal Roof Forming in Piedmont. Today, more people are realizing how much they can save with a metal roof. And at Roach Metal Roof Forming in Piedmont, we offer so many different colors to choose from. And we also have metal for your buildings as well. Metal does not deteriorate or have to be replaced due to the elements. Come by and let us show you how much we can save you over the cost of a regular shingle roof. Or if you are building a new building, let us give you a quote for the metal. We are Roach Metal Roof Forming in Piedmont, and we want to earn your business. Call us today at 223-4288. That's 223-4288. Sports. It's an important part of high schools. Students that play sports understand team sport, discipline, and a winning spirit. And that's shown with the South Iron Panthers. The staff and faculty of South Iron School District invite you to enjoy the excitement of every throw, every dunk, every slam of the AV Thanksgiving Tournament on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Great high school athletes from a great school. The South Iron School District. Proud of the South Iron Panthers. Rhinos is a family-friendly sports bar known for their crisp fire-break oven-baked St. Louis-style pizzas, 
all made with signature ingredients. They have Italian salads, Cajun Yumbo Gumbo, and their Raging Hot Wings. Rhinos will deliver fresh and hot to your office or home. Also, with a great selection of wines, signature cocktails, all the big games on high definition, and over 30 domestic and specialty brands of the coldest beer around for miles. Rhinos is definitely the place to go. Open at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, 11 a.m. on Fridays, and 12 p.m. on Saturdays. South of Arcadia Valley on Highway 21, or you can call 546-1234 for delivery or carryout. That's 546-1234. Get happy on the hill at Rhino. Join Burt's Corner Downtown Ironton Friday evening, November 23rd from 5 till 8 p.m. for her Christmas open house. Bird's Corner is where you'll find gifts and home expressions featuring sophistication and good taste. She has stocking stubbers starting at $4, which includes specialty coffees and cocoa, inspirational gifts, and much more. Bird's newest lines are Dynasty Gallery Paperweights, Milk House Candles, and a line of baby gifts. Bird's Corner has Christmas elves and snowmen along with her soaps, lotions, fabulous jewelry, braided rugs, and placemats. Flameless candles, umbrellas, and all great things she always carries. Bird's Corner, where yesterday mingles with today, carries an array of home expressions, gifts, and antiques, is open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 till 5. Don't forget, Bird's Corner, downtown Ironton, Christmas open house, Friday evening, November 23rd, 5 till 8 p.m. Join the fun on Main Street, which includes a hayride, roasting marshmallows, and music. Wishing all of the area athletes the best of luck in their high school sports endeavors is everyone at Cheryl's Mini Mart in Annapolis. On your way to or from the next sporting event, stop by Cheryl's Mini Mart and grab some snacks for the trip. You'll find all kinds of snacks to keep you going, including fountain sodas. Cheryl's Mini Mart now also has an ATM for your fast cash needs. Good luck, athletes, from everyone at Cheryl's Mini Mart in Annapolis. Sports. It's an important part of high schools. Students that play sports understand team sport, discipline, and a winning spirit. And that's shown with the South Iron Panthers. The staff and faculty of South Iron School District invite you to enjoy the excitement of every throw, every dunk, every slam of the AV Thanksgiving Tournament on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Great high school athletes from a great school. The South Iron School District, proud of the South Iron Panthers. Donnie Price Sawmill of Piedmont wants to remind everyone how important it is to get out and vote during the 2012 primary election. Freedom isn't free, and the key to keeping our American freedom is to vote. The fine folks at Donnie Price Sawmill have what it takes to meet your needs. Give them a call today at 573-945-2261. That's 945-2261. And make sure to tune in to live election coverage Tuesday night, August 7th, right here on Kicking Country 105. Donnie Price Sawmill, always concerned with the community. Back at Arcadia Valley, Missouri, it's the half of our final nightcap game, round number one, game three of the evening. Park Hill Central heads to the locker room with a lead 51 to 30 over the Ellington Whippets. Ellington at one point had it to a four-point ball game, but it's getting away from them. Let's see what they can do in the second half. And uh, like I said, this is our final broadcast game of the evening. This doesn't end the first round, though. As a matter of fact, our uh, last first round game will be tomorrow between Bismarck and West County. That game can be heard, of course, live right here. 6 p.m. is our start time. And uh, there's also some consolation games going on tomorrow. And we'll just keep moving along. Championship, of course, is going to be Thursday evening at 8 p.m. The uh, third place game will start at 5 and the, uh, or the consolation side will actually start at 5. The third place game will be at 6.30 and the championship at 8 p.m. So you can hear all the games live right here on 104.9 FM, 95.9 FM. Streaming live video and audio on the World Wide Web, kdkz18.com or froggy96online.com. It's the half. Park Hill Central leading 51 to 30. We'll get you set for the second part of this ball game coming up on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Nothing goes better with spring baseball than a premium beef hot dog from Sonic right here in Piedmont. Right now, you can have your choice of an All-American, a chili cheese, a Chicago-style, or a New York-style hot dog, all for just $1.99 each. And it's ready now at your Sonic right here in Piedmont. Oh, hey. 
Hey, Samantha. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Oh, sure. Wow, I'd love to. Great. Now give me your Subway steak melt. Mm, my melt? Yeah. I'm your girlfriend now. I, I, I don't think this is working out. Get your own Subway steak melt, like the tender, juicy steak and bacon melt, or the succulent, smoky chipotle steak and cheese. Get yours today. Subway. Eat fresh. Porsche Auto Repair wants to take this time to wish good luck to the South Iron Baseball team in your sports endeavors this spring. Everyone at Porsche Auto Repair knows it takes a lot of hard work and determination on and off the field to make great athletes, and you've done that, South Iron. Good luck, everyone, from Porsche Auto Repair in Annapolis. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated, formerly Don Sweeney Auto Sales, wants to announce a name change. Don Sweeney Auto Sales is a name you have known and trusted for over 15 years in the Bismarck area when it comes to quality pre-owned vehicles. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated is here to offer the same service and the same trust you have come to expect over the years. Chrissy and everyone at BBL Auto Sales Incorporated invites you by for the lowest prices and the best quality pre-owned vehicles around. Easy financing and with a down payment of half of your best deal, you will pay no interest. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated. Call 734-1166. That's 734-1166. One six six. More vehicles arriving daily to the already huge selection at BBL Auto Sales Incorporated. Let Arcadia Sporting Goods be your first stop to get that 20-pointer this year. Arcadia Sporting Goods buys, sells, and trades guns. They have over 1,900 guns in stock right now. The largest selection anywhere in the area. Don't mess with catalogs and the internet. See and actually feel what you're going to buy with your own money. Arcadia Sporting Goods also has a full-line archery pro shop, too. Arcadia Sporting Goods is your hunting, fishing, and camping headquarters. That's Arcadia Sporting Goods at the intersection of Highway 72 and 21 in Arcadia. Arcadia Sporting Goods. Your gateway to Missouri's highest point. Solar Shield is a new generation of reflective insulation that blocks up to 95% of all radiant energy, reducing heat flow in and out of your home or building by up to 95%. This keeps your building cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter, increasing your comfort and reducing your energy costs up to 50%. Solar Shield cuts down on emissions and saves natural resources. Solar Shield is the cost-efficient way to go green, and with utility savings up to 50%, most customers will see a full return on their Solar Shield investment within 48 months. Then you'll be able to experience decades of extra cash in your pocket. Solar Shield has Class A and Class 1 fire safety approvals. In addition to your regular mass insulation, Solar Shield extends the life of your existing heating and cooling unit. Increase comfort, reduce energy costs, and savings up to 50% on all your heating and cooling bills should be all you need to hear. So call Skaggs Energy Service at 760-6080-734-6270 or 330-4115 to talk to Bill or Josh Skaggs at Skaggs Energy Service. And for more detailed information, visit SolarShieldInsulation.com. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated, formerly Don Sweeney Auto Sales, wants to announce a name change. Don Sweeney Auto Sales is a name you have known and trusted for over 15 years in the Bismarck area when it comes to quality pre-owned vehicles. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated is here to offer the same service and the same trust you have come to expect over the years. Chrissy and everyone at BBL Auto Sales Incorporated invites you by for the lowest prices and the best quality pre-owned vehicles around. Easy financing and with a down payment of half of your best deal, you will pay no interest. BBL Auto Sales Incorporated. Call 734-1166. That's 734-1166. More vehicles arriving daily to the already huge selection at BBL Auto Sales Incorporated. Back in Arcadia Valley for the second half of our final broadcast game tonight. The Park Hills Central Rebels and the Ellington Whippets. Right now, Park Hills comes out of the locker room leading 51-30. to 30. I'm Aaron Cox. Thanks for joining us on 95.9 FM, 104.9 FM. And for watching and listening on the World Wide Web at kdkz18.com or froggy96online.com. Getting ready to do the second half, eight minutes up on the clock, third quarter. Our broadcast is made possible in part by Roach Metal Roll Forming, Worldwide Wireless, and the Medical Center Pharmacy, all proud to bring you high school sports across the radio and television dial. Our broadcast also made possible our live stream at kdkz18.com by Benning Ford. Inbounding the ball for the Ellington Whip, it's number 22, that's Dylan Pogue. He'll begin things and pass it off to his partner, Mr. Wyatt George. George has got heavy pressure from Courtois. If Courtois can control that ball, he'll be all right, but he threw it way out of bounds on the other side. Ellington will inbound it on the far side of the court. 
7.49 and just underway in the third quarter. 51-30. Park Hill Central is leading the Ellington Whippets. Inbounding the ball is Hathcote. He's going to find Pogue. Pogue is going to dribble down court and across the line. Half court and now to the right side. Pogue down below. It's going to be tipped away and stolen by Wyatt. Or excuse me, Drew Skaggs. Skaggs or Kurtoys on the right side with the two-point layup. Easy for Kurtoys. 53-30, extending the Park Hills lead. Wyatt George dribbles with heavy pressure from Kurtoys. Passes right side, stolen away by number 23. That'll be, excuse me, Braden Mannion. Mannion will tip the ball out of bounds. Ellington set to inbound it. Carl Potts is under the goal and set to inbound things. He'll pass it off to Wyatt George. George will dribble down court, 7-14 to play here in the third quarter. 53-30, Park Hills with the lead. Kurtoys with pressure on Wyatt George. Passes down below to Pogue. Pogue with pressure from Reed Lucas. Or that's Mannion, that is. Now he's going to be tipped away. Park Hill Central looking to re-get re the ball, and they do. Number 23, that'll be Brayden Mannion, puts it up for two points. In and out, rebound Park Hills. Back out and away. Number 22, John Comfort. Comfort will put up the two-point shot. 55-30 your score. Ellington Whippets. Right now, Wyatt George rolling around the left side. He's got Kurtoys on his side under the goal. He gets it stripped away from him. Going to call him out of bounds, though, underneath the goal. Actually going to give him a foul under the goal. 6.30 to play in the third quarter. 55-30 right now is the Park Hills lead. Inbounding the ball is Kurtoys. Excuse me, that'll be, uh, yeah, Kurtoys, and he'll pass it off to number 11. That'll be Sheriffus. Driving the line is John Comfort. Kurtoys will put it up with the rebound. Two points is good. 57-30, the Park Hills lead. Ellington having a hard time out of the locker room for the second half. Number 21 for the Ellington Whippets. That'll be Wyatt George. He dribbles with heavy pressure from Sheriffus. He finds Carl Potts. Potts pressured by Drew Skaggs. Top of the key, he's going to find Mr. Pogue, and Pogue can't get it in. So it's going to be rebounded by number 22's John Covert. He's going to drive just outside of the right baseline and try to put it up. Rebound, no good. Ellington with the ball. Right now, Wyatt George across the half-point line, dribbles and tries to pass deep underneath to Hathcote. Hathcote's going to try to put it up and in, and he does. 57-32 with 5.35 to play here in the third quarter. Sheriff is with the ball, dribbling right side. Looking for an open man. He's going to find his man, Mr. Mannion. Mannion's going to try for three. No good. Rebound comes down to Skaggs of Park Hills. He tries to put it up. Rebound again, Park Hills. Out to Sheriffus. Sheriffus dribbles outside. Pass back to Skaggs. Skaggs for a three-point shot. Good. 60 to 32 with five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Down the line with the ball, number 21. That'll be Wyatt George for the Ellington Whippets who now trail by 28 points. George passes across to Hathcote, outside to Potts. Potts left side, right side pressured by Skaggs. Tried to get it back out to Wyatt George. He nearly loses out of bounds, and then Sheriff is going to pick up the ball with a wide open court. He's going to try to lay it up for two, and he does, and he draws the foul. 62-32, a 30-point lead for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Headed to the line, number 11, that'll be Will Sheriff. He's going to shoot a one and one Got the two-point bucket and drew the foul. That's something you really always appreciate. Clock stopped at 4 minutes, 44 seconds. Your score, Park Hill Central 62. The Ellington Whippets 32. At the line is Will Sheriff. Puts it up off the back, no good. Rebound comes down to Ellington's Wyatt George. Long pass to Pogue. Three-point shot left side, no good. Rebound to Calvert. Calvert to Sheriff has crossed the line. Heavy pressure from Pogue. Sheriff has to pass and out of bounds is going to go on the Ellington Whippets. Pass intended for Drew Skaggs. Wyatt George going to hit it out of bounds and now Riley Calvert is going to inbound in front of the Park Hills bench. 431 to count in the third quarter. Long pass underneath the goal to Skaggs. He puts it up for two. Rebound comes down to Ellington. Two points for Drew Skaggs, extend the Park Hills lead to 64 to 32. Now Wyatt George across the timeline. Sheriff is on his tail, looks to pass down on the left side to Pogue. He finds him. Heavy pressure from Calvert, back out to the top to Hathcote. Left side again, 
And now down below, in was Parkhill. Billy Parkhill now back out to number 22. That'll be Pogue, and he puts in the three-point shot. 64-35, Parkhill still leading. Now Nichols left side to number 30, Reed Lucas. Long pass far side to Calvert. Three-point shot, good. 67-35 after a three-point shot by Riley Calvert. Now, Wyatt George is going to drive through the lane. He's going to pass it out to Carl Potts. Potts will put it up for an easy two. 67-37, still a 30-point ball game. Nephew off left side to Lucas. Lucas down underneath the goal to Nephew. Put it up, rebound. Everybody's on the ground and out of bounds. Who are they going to call it on? Substitutions in for Park Hill Central. Jones and Caldwell. Out of the game will be uh, Drew Skaggs. Inbounding the ball is Ellington, so they called it out on Park Hills. Across the timeline is Wyatt George. Heavy pressure from Jones. Now he's going to lose it on his feet. Picked up by Nephew. Off to Jones. Jones long pass under the goal. Down to Caldwell. Caldwell will flip it up and in for two. 69-37 with 3.09 to play in the third quarter. Wyatt George. Jones on the defense, and then he loses it. Talk about a bad mistake. Those are the ones you really hate to see. And then out of frustration, he's going to foul Jones as Jones recovered his mistake and tried to put it up for two. Jones will head to the line to shoot. That'll be a fourth foul, personal for number 21, Wyatt George. That'll be team foul number three in the second half for the Ellington Whippets. Jones's first shot is up, rattles around good. 70 to 37, your score, Park Hills. 2.57 to play in the third quarter. Now Jones's second shot is up and rims around good. That one's a little bit more net than the last time, though. End of the game for the Ellington Whippets, number 42. That'll be Brighton Bone. Foul trouble is Wyatt George. Inbounding for Ellington, Carl Potts hands it off to Pogue. Pogue dribbles across the timeline. Pressure from Lucas. Looking for somebody open. He's going to find Hathcote. Hathcote fakes a pass. Down the lane. Two points up and good for number five. Hunter Hathcote, 2.40 to play in the third quarter. Long pass play for Park Hills. Can't seem to get it out from underneath the goal, and then somebody's going to get a push from behind. Either number 10 or number 5. It's either going to be Park Hill or Hathcote down underneath the goal. Headed to the line to shoot is number 5 for the Park Hill Central Rebels. That'll be Austin Caldwell. Caldwell will go to the line. 2.36 to play in the third. His first shot rims out. No good. Caldwell will get a second shot at it, though. The first one rimmed around. Let's see what he can do for this one. This one bounces left side of the rim and then rebound Ellington. Pogue has got it. Crosses the half-point line. Long pass to Carl Potts left side. Back to Pogue. Heavy double pressure. Carl Potts with the three-point shot. Is off the right side of the backboard. Rebound Park Hill Central. Jones with the ball. Crosses the half-point line. 2.19 to play. Jones tries to find a man. He's going to find Calvin for a three-point shot. Rimmed it around, but it was good for three. 74-39, timeout Ellington. 2-11 to play in the third, and we're back in 60 on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Don's Place in Ellington is known as the best convenience store in the area. Don's Place always has the best variety of picnic items for that weekend retreat, a great selection of cold drinks, and of course, great pizza, fresh made daily. Don's Place in Ellington is a proud supporter of the Ellington Whippets and all area athletes. Don's Place, a friendly convenience store that appreciates your business. Stop by soon. That's Don's Place in Ellington. Worldwide Wireless in Piedmont now has the Note 2, the Apple iPhone 5, and the Galaxy S3. And now Worldwide Wireless has wireless home phones as well. Don't miss out on these and other great holiday specials at Worldwide Wireless in Piedmont. Get your holiday shopping done early with Worldwide Wireless on Highway Double H, just past the lake. Back in Arcadia Valley, our final game of a three-game broadcast. Round number one of the 86th annual Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Basketball Tournament in the third quarter with 2.11 to play. Right now, Park Hill Central leads the Ellington Whip at 74-39. Ellington's Hunter Hathcote will inbound the ball into the Park Hill's goal, and he'll do it to Dylan Pogue, who lets the ball kind of 
float around a little bit. He'll pass the half court line. Heavy pressure from Jones and then over to Carl Potts. Potts is looking for something to do with this ball. Heavy pressure from Nephew. Now he's going to try to get inside the key and he's not going to get it. He's going to have to step back and then he's going to have it taken away by his own man. Thank goodness it was Pogue and then passed away. Who's going to come up with it? The taller man, but it wasn't. It was uh, Mr. Carl Potts and then down Hunter Hathcote into the lane for a two-point jump shot. 74-41 with a minute 43 to play in the third. Park Hill Central leading. Jones with the ball, passes off to Nephew, left side. Now down deep in the left side, that'll be Reed Lucas. All the way back to the far side, Jones. Down in the lane to number five, that'll be Caldwell. Caldwell rims it around for two. 76-41, Park Hills with the lead, a minute 25 to play. That'll be off the foot of Dylan Pogue. It'll be Park Hills ball in front of the Ellington Whippet bench. Park Hills' nephew will inbound the ball to Jones. Jones across the half-point line, top of the key. Looking right side, Calvert. Calvert faked the three, back top of the key, left side. Now it's Reed Lucas, and now inside the get Underneath is Caldwell for a two-point bucket. 78-41, Park Hills extends the lead. Minute five to play before the end of the third. Uh, Pogue passes the half-point line, and then it's nearly tipped away by Jones. Out of bounds on the Park Hill Central Rebels. Ellington will inbound the ball in front of the scoreboard. I want to thank our crew from Channel 18, Matt Dawkins on camera, and Spencer Hovis, our producer, technical director, all-around funny guy. Hunter Hathcote at the top of the key looking for an open man. He's not going to have anybody right now. He's going to dribble left side just a little bit. And now he's going to pass far side out of bounds. It was intended for Taylor Pogue, or Dylan Pogue, that is. I don't think he'd appreciate that much. 41.6 seconds to play before the end of the third quarter. Park Hills Central inbounding the, bones is, inbounding the ball is Jones. And then a long three-pointer rims out for Calvert. Rebound Ellington. Comes down. It was nearly tipped away by Calvert. He wasn't going to be able to get it. Pogue was going to pass down to Potts. Underneath the goal, number 42. That is Brighton Bound. Now Park Hill Central recovered the ball after they dribbled down. Reed faked the pass. Jones underneath the goal, and then he wasn't able to get it in. He's going to be fouled underneath as he tried to go up. He's going to shoot two shots. Getting the foul is number five, Hunter Hathcote. It'll be his third team foul, number five, in the second half. At the line, shooting number 30, Reed Lucas. He is a 5'11 junior. Backboard off the back of the goal, no good. 6.4 seconds to end the third quarter. Reed Lucas at the free throw line to shoot his second of a two shot. And that one off the front of the goal, rims around and in. Inbounding the ball is the Ellington Whippets. They've got about five seconds to work with. Pogue with the ball across the half point line. Pressure, and he's gonna try to find somebody down below. No, but he's not gonna find anybody actually. That'll end the third quarter, 79-43. Park Hill Central leads the Ellington Whippets. We're back in 60 on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Season is here, and Rick's Pawn Shop in downtown Piedmont has lots and lots of bows in stock. And Rick has been stocking all types of guns like crazy. The store is overloaded with quality guns of all sizes, and Rick has the largest assortment of ammo anywhere at the best prices, too. Oh, did we say that Rick has lots of bows? Well, he sure does. Head on over to Rick's Pawn Shop on Main Street in Piedmont. Rick's is a proud sponsor of the Wayne County Sportsman Association. Deer season is here, and that means more accidents because of deer crossing the roadways. Hills, Meadows, and Motors in Ellington is the place to take your vehicle for a complete collision, along with auto service and repair. So if you find yourself crosshairs with a deer and your vehicle, remember to take it to the collision specialist at Hills, Meadows, and Motors on County Road 300 in Ellington to make your vehicle look like new again. That's Hills, Meadows, and Motors in Ellington. Call 663-7870. That's 663-7870. 70 for Hills Metals and Motors on County Road 300 in Ellington. Back to begin the fourth quarter where Park Hill Central leads 79-43 and inbounding the ball is Jones. Right side Calvert down below to double zero. That was Gabe Craig into the ball game for the first time. Rebound Ellington. Now Pogue with a two-point jump shot. No good. Rebound to Craig, off to Jones, past the half-court line, dribbles back, slows it down. 
Craig, left side to Calvert. Top of the key, back to Jones. Jones thought about a three-pointer. Now he'll go back to the left side for Calvert. Calvert wants a three-pointer. It rims around, no good. Off the rebound is number five. That'll be Austin Caldwell. He'll get a two-point bucket, extending the Park Hills lead, 81 to 43, 719 to play in the fourth quarter. A long pass play is up and over the hands and rebounding the ball is Park Hill Central. Caldwell underneath the goalie, fakes the first time, up for two points again. Caldwell extends it to 83-43. It's a 40-point game and a lead for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Poe dribbles down to the lane and then recovered by Reed Lucas. Breakaway Caldwell, nobody around him, no effort to get him either. Caldwell will put it up for another two-point shot. 85-43 with 6.46 to play in the fourth quarter. Pogue across the half-point line, looks for a man. He's going to find Hunter Hathcote. Hathcote dribbles across. He's got Caldwell in front of him. He tries the lane. Then he kind of moves around. Surprised they didn't get a walk on that one. Far side, three-point shot. Good from number 22, Dylan Pogue. 85-46 is your score. Jones for Park kills off to Craig. Right side to Calvert. Looking down deep, who are they going to find? We'll see. Top of the key to Lucas. Lucas for a long two-pointer off the backboard. No good. Rebound Park Hills. In for the rebounding shot number five is Austin Caldwell. He get the two-point bucket. Extend the lead for Park Hills, 87-46. Some substitutions into the game. 6-10 to play before the end of this one. Inbounding the ball, number 42. That'll be Bone or Bound. Passes off to Pogue. Pogue down to Hathcote. Hathcote looking for somebody down deep. He's not going to find much, except for he's going to get Harper. Harper back into the game. Harper turns around again. Rebound Park Hill Central. Nephew going to take it and elbowing all around. Lucas, or Jones, that is, long pass play, and then he's going to try to get it in for the two-point bucket. No good. Nephew with a rebound in for the two points this time. 89-46, Park Hills, 535 to play in the fourth. Now Pogue dribbles baseline. Now he's out to Harper again. Harper no good off the rim. Rebound Park Hills. Long pass play to Lucas. Under the goal for the two-point layup. 91-46. Park Hills takes the lead. Or extends the lead. There's no taking the lead to ballot. Pass play back to number five. That'll be Hunter Hathcote. Hathcote down to Harper. He's inside the key now. Heavy pressure from Nephew. It looks like we've got a timeout from the Ellington Whippets, and it comes with 5.03 in the fourth, 91-46 Park Hills leads. We're back in 60 on the Dawkins Broadcast Group. Greg Mills at H&R Block of Piedmont and Caledonia is proud to be a part of the historic AB Thanksgiving Tournament. Just like the tournament is a favorite with sports fans, H&R Block and Greg Mills is a favorite when it's time to prepare your taxes. Greg Mills and H&R Block can answer all of your questions and get the maximum refund due to you. Go with a winner, Greg Mills and H&R Block of Piedmont and Caledonia and the Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Tournament on the Dawkins Radio and Television. Group. The Lesterville R4 School District is very proud of their outstanding athletes and they wish all their teams the best of luck in their sports endeavors. Your hard work and dedication to your team shows that you have determination to be the best. Good luck Bearcats and Lady Bearcats in your sports endeavors from everyone at the Lesterville R4 School District. Back in Arcadia Valley after the Ellington timeout, 5.03 to play in the fourth Park Hills with a 91-46 lead over the Ellington Whippets. I want to thank some of our fine sponsors, including Mills Ready Mix, Arcadia Valley Sporting Goods, your Iron County Sheriff's Department, Price Sawmill, and Don's Place, all of Ellington. Inbounding the ball for the Whippets is number 22. That'll be Dylan Pogue. He's going to be underneath the goal. He's going to pass to Hathcote. Hathcote jumps with the ball. Going to try to figure out exactly what happened there. I thought they were going to call a jump ball between him and Nephew. They're going to get a foul, though, down underneath the goal, looks like. Inbounding again will be Ellington, number 22, Dylan Pogue, underneath the Park Hill Central goal. Looks for an open man. He's going to get intercepted, though. Jones going to take it away, and he's going to pass it off to number 23, Braden Mannion. Mannion with a two-point layup. 93-46 is your score. Keep on rolling with it. They've got four and a half minutes to play, and a shot comes from the outside. Number 22, Dylan Pogue, 93-48. Nephew off to the right side. He's got Mannion. Far pass to Jones. Three-point shot from Jones. Off the rim, front side. No good. Rebound comes down to Ellington. 
Number five, Hunter Cathcote, dribbles across the half-court line. 4.08 to play here in this final quarter. Poke thought about it trying a three-point shot. Wants to again. Now he's going to try it. It's going to rim around and no good. Off the backboard. Rebounded from Reed Lucas. Lucas will drive the lane. He'll flip it up and good for the two-point layup. 95-48. Park Hills with an impressive lead with 3.48 to play in the fourth. Hunter Hathco lost the ball back at the half-court line. He's going to pass right side to Pogue, back up to Hathcote. Thought he was going to find Hayden breakaway for number 23, Mannion. Easy layup. He's going to get the layup, and he's going to be fouled at the same time by number 21, Wyatt George. 97-48, 3.24 to play here in the fourth quarter. Park Hill Central over the Ellington Whippets. 3-11 to play here in the fourth quarter. At the line to shoot for the Park Hill Central Rebels, Braden Mannion. Mannion is a six-foot sophomore. His first shot is up and good. 3-0-1 to play here in the fourth quarter. Inbounding the ball for the Ellington Whippets is number 34, Corey Harper. He'll pass off to Dylan Pogue, crossing the half-point line. Pogue left side. You're going to try to find Hathcote out of bounds. Out of bounds on Park Hills. Inbounding the ball for Ellington is Hathcote. Off to Pogue. Back to Hathcote. Back to Pogue. Pogue left key. Pressure from Mannion. Gets the ball back. Pogue long pass. Tipped away by Jones. Out of bounds. Far side. 2.28 to play in the fourth quarter. 98-48 is the score. All Park Hills here in the opening round of the 86th Annual Arcadia Valley Thanksgiving Tournament. Inbounding it is Pogue. Out of bounds on Park Hills again. This time, Carl Potts is going to give it a shot on inbounding. He's going to hit it to Pogue. Pogue going to find a man open. He's on the right key. And then he's going to pass to Hathcote. Hathcote down below to Potts. Long shot from Pogue. It was a two-pointer over the top of the goal. Rebound Park Hill Central. Jones has got it across the half-point line. Looking to slow things down. they got a comfortable lead. Lucas thought about a three-point shot. Top of the key, Jones right side. Going down below, double zero. That'll be Gabe Craig off the backboard. No good. Craig gets a rebound again. He's got a two-point bucket. It's 100 points to 48 points with a minute 33 to play in the fourth quarter. Ellington Whippets. Pogue's got it. Right key. Down below to Carl Potts. Off the foot of Gabe Craig. 148 Park Hill Central leading the Ellington Whippets with a minute 20 to play. Final game of our broadcasting this evening. Our final first round game tomorrow will consist of Bismarck and West County. Long pass from Hathcote over the hands of Pogue. Out of bounds, Park Hills will take over the ball. Minute to play here in this final quarter. Jones, right side, goes to Mannion. Down deep, looks to the other side. Reed Lucas thought about a three, goes down deep to Craig. Craig backboard, no good. Out of bounds. Park Hills, Ellington will inbound. 43 seconds to play. Your score, Park Hills 100, Ellington 48. Inbounding the ball, it's Mr. Harper to Pogue. Pogue will cross and he'll fake it a three-pointer. Hathcote with a long three-pointer. Rims off the back of the rim, no good. And then comes down to the Ellington Whippets. Park Hills will take it back over though. Mannion will slow it down, 20 seconds to play. And we're going to have a foul on 22. That'll be Dylan Pogue. At the line to shoot for the Park Hill Central Rebels is number 23, Braden Mannion. This team has scored 100 points, and that will end the ball game. Your final score of the final game tonight, the Park Hill Central 100 And the Ellington Whippets, 48. That is your final. Park Hill Central, 100 points. And the Ellington Whippets, 48 as they shake hands. And what an impressive game we've seen.